um, let the FDA know, you know, you can stop telling everybody what's in the food. You know, mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Uh, you also told the, uh, uh, we told you, don't, don't worry about telling them what's in the air anymore either. You know, just stop informing people what you're doing. So we can't trust the doctors. We can't trust what's in the food. What are people to do right now? Because, you know, there's a, right now, people don't know there's a, there's a shortage on food. You know, they're even contaminating our water. So tell us what the nation does. What is your, what is your meal plan? How do you guys stay healthy? And even with all the bad food that's out here, sure. how do you guys uh, go Thank you. Them? Well, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, this is what we have to do. See, this is why we got to unite. It's time for all the blacks that's in chemistry to come together. What I love about the Jewish community, brother, I respect them. They don't take the vaccines we take. They have their own chemists. They don't trust nobody because they've had their Holocaust and they refuse. They grow their own food. They kill their own cows. They kill and grow their own chickens. What's wrong with us? They have their own farms, the Nation of Islam. We got a 1,600-acre farm in Georgia now. We have four or 500-acre farm in Michigan. We're trying to buy farmland in Texas now. Farmland, because we knew this day was coming. In the nation of Islam, I've been eating, we are taught to eat one meal a day. I've been eating one meal a day for nearly 30 years. I'm 60 years old. And I can hang with any 30-year-old that's out there. I'll run them. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. I'll lift them in weights. My energy level, I mean, because eating one meal a day and eating the navy bean. The navy bean is a bean that takes all the toxins out of your body. We don't know how to eat. Nobody ever taught us how to eat to live. This is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us a book, How to Eat to Live. What foods to eat, what foods we shouldn't eat. Then he said, we got to own the land because Monsanto's control all the seeds. And they're growing kind of a fruit kind of an orange, kind of a banana. You think you're eating a banana? No. That's a synthetic banana. It's been manufactured in a laboratory. So we're in trouble, brother. The scriptures say we're walking in the valley of the shadow of death. We got to come together. There are black farmers in California. We got to support them. Black farmers in Georgia. We're going to go and meet with them. We, now you letting the homies out of the prison, we'll get them a job, but guess what, brother? We're going back to the farm. What's wrong with farming? What's wrong with growing chickens? And now we grow them and feed the chickens the right kind of food. We make sure even when we slaughter them, you slaughter them right. So we now have been teaching our people for 87 years. Minister Farrakhan is nearly 90 years old, but he looks like he's 45 or 50. So we have to unite. We need our own farm. We need our own foods. We need our own grocery store. So the Nation of Islam, we have a three-year economic blueprint where Minister Farrakhan is asking black people to give him a nickel a day, okay. 35 cents a week, a dollar and a quarter a month. That ain't no money, but if 40 million people did that. Trust him. He said, and I'll put my life on the line that I'll never mess over your money. And when you give us money, we'll give you back farmland. See? We'll give you back, man, if we're going to have our own hospital because body parts are for sale. Do you see they caught some rabbis, some Jewish rabbis, taking black men and taking our body parts? Are they also killing us? We're in trouble, brother. And this is why the minister said all of our black chemists, all of our black doctors, all of our black nurses, Jesus said there's a coat and an ass tied together. The coat represents the intelligence part of our community, and the donkeys represents the homies, the poor. When you untie them and bring them to a wise man, see, it's our time now. We don't need the NBA. The NBA need us. What if LeBron James them broke away and said, we're going to start our own league? We don't need Interscope, Interscope need us. What if Jay-Z said, man, the hell with them. We're going to do our own music now. We're going to stop letting white people win the Grammys on the best rap album. How the hell they become the best rapper? We got to unite. I got to trust you. You got to trust me. Right now, I did a, 
a Facebook live as a black woman owns the first grocery store in California. I went to her store, went live on Facebook. Hundreds. Now that thing done got 70,000 hits. Every time I go, she thanked me. She, she said, Minister Tony, ever since you came to my store, my sales for almost 14 days quadrupled. Because you asked black people to support me. See, that's where we win, brother. I said, sister, I want you to be able to open a hundred more grocery stores, because guess what? Now we can go to the black farmers and get their grapes. Make sure we're getting real food. We got to feed each other, brother. See, God is going to force us to unite. That's what time it is, man. And it's social media outlets like yours that's going to bring people closer, not to being Muslims, but closer to our ideas, because who can disagree with truth? See, we speak in truth, man. I want to see black unity because we'll never really unite in the name of religion. Religion has done started all of these wars. But truth, brother, we can have that. We can have our own grocery store. We can have our own farmland. We can have our own TV shows. If you had to, if you were in charge of, you know, if they came to you and said, you know what, give us, give us a plan. And now everybody in the, in, the, in the United States of America urban community said, we're going to follow your plan. If you had that power and that and ability to come up with that plan with the nation, what would that plan be? What would be the first thing you would tell move, after today? Mm -hmm. What would be the first thing you would tell So to if it? somebody in power mm -hmm. came to me and said they would back a plan, what would I do? I would do what Moses did. I would do what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he asked four questions on what the Muslims want. We asked for first, we want freedom, a full and complete freedom. We said we want justice, equal justice under the law, and we want that justice applied to all, regardless to race, color, or creed. We want equality. We want equality of opportunity with the best members in civilized society. Now, if you can't give us freedom, a full and complete freedom, if you can't give us justice, equal justice under the law, if you can't give us equality, then the fourth thing he said, then we want separation. Give us sep at least five states with an outlet to the sea, minerally rich. Take care of us in that state for 20 to 25 years until we're strong enough to fend for ourselves. Do to us what you did for Israel. You took those Jews out of Germany, went in another man's country, took it. And America, every year, give the Jews five to ten billion dollars right off the top of our taxpaying dollars and make sure that they got a strong separate state of territory. Why won't you do that for your black one slave? See? And any black person, I, mean, I don't want no separation, I don't want to be in no country, ain't nothing but black people. Then stay here with these crackers. I'm sorry, white folk. I just have to keep it real, brother. <laughs> See, and the thing about it is, I'm going to be a citizen of the planet. So I'll be a dual citizen just like the Jews. I'll be a citizen in our own separate state of territory, and I'll be still a citizen of America. And then when we have our own separate state of territory, then we can start trading with Africa. We can trade with China. We can trade with Central and South America. We can become our own sovereign nation. Now Obama can be the president of our new nation. He's a powerful brother. We got all of these lawmakers that got all of this experience, but they're trying to make America great again. What Trump mean by make America great again, he mean make it great and white again. They can have America, give us our own separate state of territory, like the children of Israel did to Pharaoh. Pharaoh let them go. It's time for America to let those of us who want to go, go, but give us a good sin. Now, that's what I would do, brother. We have our own police station. The Nation of Islam is very well capable of policing the community. We do a better job than any police officer, and we don't carry weapons. That's the plan, brother. The only plan that I would put on the table is the plan that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad put on there, and that is number four. If we can't get freedom, justice, and equality, we want to separate. It's like a no good man with a woman been beating her behind. Huh? It's time for that woman to divorce that man. Leave that man. 
these people been beating our behind for 400 years. Are we going to keep singing, we shall overcome? Let's divorce him. How would white folks act if one day they wake up, nobody black was around? What kind of basketball game would that be? What kind of football game would they have if we ain't there? We the salt of the earth, brother. We keep, we keep believing we need them. They need us. And this ain't no hate thing. This is an equality thing. We want what they got. And then let's go back and make Africa strong. That's where all the gold is anyway. That's where all the diamond is. All the mineral resources that Europe needs is in our homeland. Brother, when we do that, to me, that's what we would be powerful. And then we would say, let all of the prisoners, the black prisoners out who have life, give them to us. And we'll let them go with us. And we, we want Georgia, Mississippi, we want Alabama, and we want Texas. Give us five states. Trump might just do it. He's a deal maker. Yeah, yes. See, but let me say this, brother. God is using Trump's ignorant. That man is a fool. He's going to help take America to hell, brother. I wouldn't trust him or follow him across the street. Yeah, he recently um, made a statement that he's not going to, he doesn't need to make that wall as big as he planned. So he's already going back on the one thing that he used to push his campaign. So Omar Johnson spoke on, he speaks heavily on interracial dating. On what? Hey, interracial dating. Okay. Interracial marriage dating. What are your, what is your thoughts and your views on that? He feels like any man who dates outside of his race, he has no respect for and he's no good. So what are your thoughts on interracial dating? Well, my thoughts are this. Because we've been so mentally destroyed in America, we've been turned upside down, inside out. We've been actually made to hate our black self. When you're looking at a man or a woman who hates themselves and hold white to the highest esteem or believe in right. So we've been made in America an unnatural people. We are not natural to our nature. What do you mean, brother mommy, we ain't natural to our nature? Look, if I go to Bonham and Bailey Circus and I'm watching this little white guy there with a whip and you're looking at these lions, you would really believe that that man tames lions. That's bull crap. That's a game. They took them lions was cubs when they first got here. They put fear in those cubs. And they put those cubs on a stimulus response mechanism, meaning they fed them three square meals a day. They would put pain on them and crack a whip, put pain on them and crack a whip. So they programmed them. So they would make you think this white lion tamer got these lions jumping through hoops. When you're at Bonham and Bailey Circus, you're not looking at a natural lion. You're looking at an unnatural lion. Because he's been conditioned mentally to obey white folks. If you take that unnatural lion and take him back to Africa and let him loose, he'd be dead in two days. Back to his natural habitat, because the other lions ain't going to accept that punk. Because that's a Negro. He ain't militant enough for, for Mufasa them because he's other than himself. In fact, he ain't going to even hunt because a white man been giving him three square meals a day. He's been in a circus with other animals that he would otherwise eat in Africa, but if they let him out of the cave, he's going to go over there and try to befriend the damn monkeys. Or You see where I'm going? Now, if I was a real natural black man in my own natural habitat, I would obey the law of self-preservation. I want to preserve me. You don't see a bee falling in love with a fly and marrying a fly. That's unnatural. You don't see a cat dating a chicken. <laughs> All right. Because that cat naturally wants to self-propel itself. I'm not saying that love can't transcend color now. No, it, it can. 
not natural love. See, if I naturally love me, love my black self, man, there's no way I could go outside of me to Heather. I ain't mad at Heather, but Heather need to be with Bob. <laughs> <laughs> 